Hey, what's going on, Transformer Amigos? This is Rimfire, and this is a video response to Sean Long's video. Why do you collect? Getting inside a mind of a collector. First off, Sean, great, great video. Uh, you know, it's very genuine. Shows a lot of emotion behind it. Uh, I could tell it's been on your mind for some, for some time now. I recall that you brought this uh, subject up real quick on the Transformer Matrix show. You know, basically just saying, you know, why do we collect? Do we actually play with the toys? Do we just leave them on the shelves? Why do we leave them in the box? You know, are we going to sell them later on? You know, what's the motive behind our collecting? And I'm glad you made this video. And I'm very intrigued on seeing the response from the Transformer community. Um, but I thought I might add my own response to it. So here we go. First question is, why do you collect? That is a great question. Because I got money, biatches. I make it rain on the Transformers. I could buy them whenever I want. That's how I do. No, not really. Uh, it's a lot of reasons why. Uh, I narrowed them down to five. The first one is because I absolutely love Transformers. Um, I was four or five when I got into them. You know, it was late 87, early 88. And my brother in law got me into them. Back then, he was my sister's boyfriend, but yeah, he got me into them. I was instantly hooked when I saw them transform into cars, trucks, planes, freaking gun. I was like, oh my god, mom, this is freaking awesome. Give me give me some more cereal. Or I'm going to stay here and watch this cartoon. So yeah, that's reason number one. I love the cartoon. Or I love the car. I love the, I love the Transformers. Reason number two is because I could afford them. I got the money to buy them. Uh, when I was younger, my parents were raising a, a, a family of seven. I had four sisters and two brothers. I was the youngest. Um, so Transformers and toys in general weren't really in the budgets, but I in the budget. But I did get a few, and the ones that I did get, the majority of ones, the majority of them were from my sister, and I really didn't deserve them. I was a spoiled little brat, but. Uh, she got them for me anyway so I, I really appreciate it um, when I was 17 I got my first job I worked at KFC and my first paycheck I went to go I went to the store and I bought landfill I've always wanted a devastator um, I never got him so when I saw landfill I picked his ass up right away uh, I just saw that he was made out of construction uh, vehicles and he was a combiner so I grabbed him and actually he's still in the box I was kinda intimidated of the whole transformation uh, I actually got better at transforming so I might open him up one day uh, now I got a pretty good job uh, making some pretty good money and uh, so I have I have money I have money to, to, to actually buy the figures I know I started actually you know collecting about two years ago start off from a little shelf and it just grew to a whole freaking room and sad thing is I'm running out of space I need another room I need a I don't know get my own place or something I don't know so yeah that's reason number two because I actually have uh, money to buy uh, reason number three is because like they're, they're they're actually little I see them as little time machines. When I pick one up and start playing with it, it's like I get automatically sent back to when I was a little kid. You know, just I totally can relate with Sean. You know, when he says he had his little, his own little world with the toys. You know, just basically anything could happen. You know, you you just shut off the whole world and you're just in your own little reality, little your own little world, and sometimes. As adults, you really need that, you know, stress at work, you know, girlfriend problems, you know, unpaid bills that need to get paid, you know, just, you're so stressed out. Sometimes they're instantly gone when you pick up Optimus, you pick up Sunstreaker, you know, you pick up Prowl, and you get automatically sent back in time to, you know, when you're a little kid. So that's number, that's, uh, that's reason number three. Number four is the thrill of the hunt. Uh, you know, 
just going out trying to find the the you know the figure that just got released um trying to be the first one in the city to have them oh, that's awesome I love that that feeling um and especially when you punch little kids for for figures punch the little kid for that one uh punch the little kid for this guy punch the little kid for this guy and I hit an elderly lady for this guy she said she was a big Wolverine fan. I was like, whatever, lady. Bam! Right in the face. Right in the kisser. So that's reason number four. The thrill of the hunt. And reason number five is the reaction people get when they see my collection. I love that reaction. I've always wanted my room or house to be like a comic book store because they have some amazing stuff displayed. And everyone that enters into a comic book store, they automatically their jaw just hits the floor so I like that reaction and that's the reason I do it I just you know the reaction they get when they see my collection do you collect to play or decorate sometimes you're forced to have a figure as a decoration because like the new universe Galvatron that guy if you try to play with him his legs are gonna go this way his arms are gonna fly off that way you know it's he's a great ornament uh, shelf ornament not not to play with though but I do a little I do both I play and I decorate with them uh, I try to play with most of them like my masterpiece Starscream and my masterpiece Optimus I don't mess with them I just leave them there um, but I do play with some and I after I'm done I leave them in a kick-ass pose you know so when somebody sees it, they're like, oh my god, look at Gribblog, it's freaking awesome, he's gonna cut somebody's head off. So, yeah, I do both. Do you get a new one just for something to review? Uh, not really. I buy it, and I play with it, and if I really like it, that's when I do the review. But I don't go and like, oh, I'm gonna buy Ironhide, come open it up, and re do a review right then and there. No, I just... I play with it first and if I like it that's when I do the review. Are you collecting to complete your collection or will always add on to it? You know what I found out the hard way that trying to collect everything from a line is like hard to do and time uh, not time consuming but uh you know, kinda kinda hurts the wallet a bit. Uh, I know when I started really collecting two years ago I try to get two of everything, try to open one and keep one sealed and that wasn't working out at all and you know, it kind of hurt the wallet a bit so now I just try to get uh, my favorite out of the lines you know the, the must-haves and then if I have more money I'd buy the uh, you know the okay toys Do you ever think you over stop collecting that's freaking blasphemy I gonna pretend I never heard that I never read it whatever no, I'm not going to stop collecting. My brother-in-law got me into it. He collects X-Men stuff. Uh, Batman, so... I'm collecting Transformers. And I got his son, my nephew, into collecting. So it's, I think I'm going to pass it down when I have kids. Boy or girl, they're going to play with Transformers. I don't care. I'm going to be like... If it's a girl, I'm going to be like... You know, put that Barbie away. Get it, get it out of here. Here... Meet this guy, he's my friend, Optimus, play with him, enjoy. So, I'm not going to stop. Uh, do you collect something just since it's valuable and will sell it for a lot of money one day? You know what, I think we're all guilty of this and uh, I have done it. I don't know if I'm going to stop, but I haven't done it lately. But I've done it with uh, Masterpiece Starscream, the US edition, I bought two of them kept one in the box and I've opened one up so I'm ashamed so anyways uh, great video Sean I hope to see everybody else's response so everyone take care happy uploading and to all are one